Hi everybody, in this video we are going to talk about the sample time, how to implement this time in the Arduino. We are going to talk about the implementation and the importance of this time in our project. We know that this time is so important in control theory and it's more important in digital control theory. Concepts are very important. I hope that you enjoy this video, that you understand the, all the concepts in it. And that's it. Thank you very much and let's go to see it. Hi everybody, in this video we are going to talk about the sample time. What is the sample time and why it is so important in control theory and digital control theory? Uh, it's important because the sample time is a fixed time that we use to, to apply our control signal. This is so important and that is that the program that we are going to try to develop in this video we are going to guarantee a time a fixed time that makes that the arduino works perfectly with our control scheme so in this part of the video we are going to explain some concepts that are so important to uh, help us to program this in, on our arduino Imagine that the horizon line is the time that is running on our Arduino. The first vertical line that you see in this image is when we turn on our Arduino. And the second one is a time when we want to save that time in a variable. That variable that we are going to create is called Muestreo Anterior is the way that we are going to call that time that is taken from our Arduino. The muestra anterior is a static variable, but there are we have an objective that is uh, to try to get the sample time. And imagine that we have another variable that is changing in every sample of time, that we have a, a variable that is uh, achieve the time of the running of the Arduino. We want to achieve a sample time. Uh, imagine that we uh, select 10 mile, milliseconds, that is our uh, sample time, and we have a variable that register all our time. Then that variable is going to call it muestreo actual that is the name of the this variable this variable uh, is up, uh, is changing with the time of our simulation in arduino and there are another variable we want the difference between muestreo actual and muestreo anterior uh, that that's different that that minus uh, of this variable generates or create a new variable that is called delta muestreo. The delta muestreo is the difference between those variables. Let's try to understand what is the difference. What is uh, why we create a delta muestreo uh, muestreo because there are. A, a fixed variable that is muestreo anterior, that is a static variable, but muestreo actual is changing with our uh, running of our Arduino. That changing uh, makes that if we have if we have that the delta muestreo is is equal or higher than than 10 milliseconds, then the sample time that we want to achieve is reached. Then we could uh, execute the control signal because, because the sample time is rich. That, that is the objective of this video and I hope that you understand that 
the idea that right now we have to implement, to, we have to program on our board, then let's go to see that. Okay, let's work in the, in the code of our sample time. This is the code that I make uh, to try to achieve that, that specification. Okay, we create the, the three variables that we, that we explained uh, in the last part. El, eh, muestra actual, muestra anterior y delta muestra interrupción the eh, variables are called volatile unsigned volatile because are variables that are changing in our program and unsigned because eh, that help us that those variables eh, makes higher, bigger in our Arduino and, and that's it, that, that is too simple, I create all variables and, and I create another variable that is called key, k. This k variable is the sample time, that is the time that we want to achieve. Remember that this time is the time that we are going to execute the control law. And you could change it, you could want to use millisecond, 10 millisecond or 100 milliseconds uh, it depends uh, if you if you want to control your control signal uh, the, in the voice setup we are going to use serial begin to initialize the serial communication with our computer uh, we are going to use that communication to uh, try to validate our program is uh, correct and the boil loop. In the boil loop, we're going to uh, use uh, some lines, some lines of code. Remember that we have two times that we have to uh, to take in count. The first one is the muestreo anterior that is initialized uh, in zero because our Arduino begins and that uh, that time is equal to zero. Then we start in that time. But muestra actual is equal in the first line is equal to millis. We are going to uh, assign to that variables the, the simulation time of our Arduino. In this case, millis is the function that uh, that creates all uh, of our in our Arduino creates the the bar the time. And we have to make the the minus uh, delta muestreo, that is the minus between uh, muestreo actual, minus muestreo anterior, that is the, the difference of those variables, and we create the delta muestreo. If the delta muestreo is e a higher or equal to k, then execute all the lines that we want uh, that the program achieves. In this case, we want to show what are the uh, what is the time in serial print. We are going to to watch what are the the time in our Arduino uh, printing. What is millis? Then, if we have a k ten, we we want to obtain that that the simulation time goes to jumping uh, around those variables 10 20 30 40 50 then uh, trying to ghost goes higher there is a there, that depends of k and that may that creates on our our thinking uh, the idea that the sample time is okay because it's jumping between those times and the last uh, line is very important that muestra anterior is equal to muestra actual that is the actualization of the the uh, static variable that is muestra anterior you assign you have to assign in this loop the muestreo anterior is equal to muestra actual to to keep to obtain that difference, uh, help us to obtain the difference of of the sample time. Uh, you have to to understand it. It's so so important that that you see it and 
let's try to program in the Arduino and we expect that uh, the jumping time is 10, 20 and 30 but the program is too fast then it's difficult to watch it in, in the program then uh, change our sample time to 100 and we hope that we could watch uh, those jumpings that those jumps between 100, 200, 300, 400 uh, we will watch we want to watch those jumps. You could see that jumps uh, are executed like with a spec and that help us to to watch that the that the program is working okay and that that is too important. We are uh, maintaining in this program the sample time. You could try to watch another variables if you don't feel okay. You could watch a variable like a in serial print. You could try to print another thing like delta muestre. Uh, but uh, try to put uh, outside of the if. If we if we watch this variable outside of the of the if we want to see the jumping uh, of the delta muestreo tries to achieve 100 100 is our uh, objective uh, time that is our sample time that we are going to see where uh, that the sample times goes to goes to achieve the 100 then this goes a uh, higher or 100 then our program uh, reinitialize the variables and begins uh, another count and you could see that jump the the jump between 100 and and reinitialize the variable 5 and and that's it that tries to see what is the logical of our program i hope that you understand this video it is it's too easy to understand it and i hope that you really like it and that's it